All right, good morning and welcome everybody to the Never Stop Healing podcast. This is your host of the day, Kate Archibald, and really excited to be with you guys today. We're going to be diving into some really cool stuff, um, a little bit of a review of some things we've been working on this year. And, uh, and um, I have Reagan with me today that's going to be jumping into um, our Accelerate Wellness programs and uh, giving you guys some, some summary and highlights of how those programs function, giving you guys some challenges and some, some really fun stuff there. So this is uh, a great one. So before we jump in, we had our, our um, Health Accelerator challenge last night. Um, if you're not a part of that community, make sure you jump into Accue or go to AccuEastWest.com forward slash hack and get signed up for that. Um, or just reach out to, to one of our uh, clinics and they can help uh, route you into um, uh, one of our Accelerate Wellness programs. If you're looking to change your health, change your life um, through uh, better health, this is uh, the, one of the best ways we've seen that. Uh, happen. So um, reach out to us. So um, we got the, the link in the chat box. So uh, last night we had our, our health accelerator challenge and I am sorry, I was uh, driving home last night had to, and then uh, had an orthodontist appointment. Um, so, so my mouth's nice and sore this morning. Um, but I had to, had to make that. So I missed our, our call last night. So hopefully you guys are all, um, locked and loaded with your challenges. One of the big ones, this, this quarter, this, this month that we're working on, um, through the recharge phase is creating some personal challenges, uh, like a physical challenge. And so whether that's doing more, more pushups, um, whether that's doing, um, I, I think we had some uh, some patients that were focused on uh, some long distance running. Whatever you see yourself doing in, uh, when you're a hundred, like what what kind of physical abilities you want to have then, you you got to make sure you're practicing those and creating habits out of those. Now, one of my um, biggest uh, one of my main priorities right now is I, I exercise every single day. Um, and I've started just at minimum I do it's, it's 50 pushups. Like if I don't get a, a workout in or for whatever reason, it's, uh, it doesn't happen, which I, I made that a much, much higher priority and, uh, made it happen anyways. But worst case scenario, air squat, air squats when I brush my teeth and, um, pushups either right when I wake up or before I bet, go to bed, if I didn't do it right when I wake up woke up. So those are, those are some of the challenges I'm working on. Um, all right. Well, we're, we're going to dive in. I have Reagan here and, um, this is, uh, uh he, he's going to dive in on the accelerate, uh, wellness programs and some summary there. Um, this is a, a clip, um, that we're going to be, um, that, that we've re a pre recorded clip that we did um, it's, it's, uh, been a little while back, but I think it's going to be really helpful for everyone. So let's, let's, uh, roll that. We're jumping into, so we've got our brand new program for 2022. It's called Accelerate Wellness. And, um, and so one of the things that happens when you enter into a program with us now is we have a very systematic way of helping you accomplish your biggest goals and desires. And so this new program that we've, we've designed, it's built around these, these tenets of health where if we can remove the interferences, remove inflammation, remove the biotoxins and build up the deficiencies, then your body can heal. And it works every single time with every single patient. And so this whole process, you know, it's about recharging, it's about resetting and it's about restoring uh, what's been damaged. And so the very first thing we're going to do as a group, as this health accelerator community, is we're going to go in and we're going to reset the hypothalamus, the pituitary, and the adrenal axis. And we're also going to re reset the hormones. So your growth hormone, reset the mindset, and then reset the body so that you can start maximizing 
your overall health. And then we go into the recharge. So then there's a 60 day recharge where we work on the DNA, your gut health, your mitochondria, and then a 60 day restore, which is restoring metabolic flexibility and restoring your body's ability to reverse age. And so it's a very unique process that has to be done strategically because Cade, we've seen this. If you go to remove toxins in the body without replacing it with some of the nutrients, what happens to people's energy levels? Oh, they, they get burned out quick. Um, yeah, it gets rough. It's crazy, isn't it? And we, we've seen where people have what's, you know, what some people call a Herxheimer's reaction. Well, you know, we also see that and we say, well, it's more than just a Herx reaction. It's actually because you bound up all the toxins in the body, but you didn't replace it with things that are really healthy and needed. So, so um, this whole process is designed to take you through and smoothly integrate this whole process. It follows the book, Never Stop Healing, which thank you so much because this community here, the hacks, you guys are what helped create the whole content and the flow. And by working with you over the, the last almost two decades, some of you have been working with almost two decades, We've learned what works, what doesn't work, and you've really helped navigate the vision of this. And so can't thank you enough for that because this is the whole process that we take you through. So, you know, you're going to have your health advisor, you have your functional medicine sessions, and then we have classes. But the whole process is designed so that you have the right peptides, and we have very specific peptides for each phase. And then one of the things that we're bringing in and many of you, I'm going to encourage you to, to consider getting going on this, is our cell core foundational systems. And these cell core systems are very interesting because what they are is, is this is a brand new innovation in the supplement and herbal world because, and this innovation, you know, I've been over the holidays, most people go on vacation and Reagan studies deeply and create through new things. And I just really get wrapped up in awesome capabilities. And so one of my, one of my friends uh, from Genius Network, Jay Davidson, <clears throat> he's uh, a, an amazing doctor, but what he works with are people who have Lyme disease, they have heavy metal toxicity, they have interferences that cause brain inflammation, mold issues. And so he's, he's one of the geniuses in the industry that I've leaned on for a lot of our protocols. But what he did is he discovered that with most supplements, these supplements that that remove toxins and create, you know, get rid of infections. The big problem with them is they're binding up with not only the toxins, but they're also removing minerals from your body. So they're not selective enough. And so he started looking deeper and he looked into the soil and he said, well, what is it that allows plants to stay pristine and healthy? What's going on underneath it all in the root system that allows plants to detoxify or mushrooms. If you look at mushrooms, mushrooms detoxify the planet. They're, they're very powerful. You can plant mushrooms in areas where there have been oil spills or environmental toxins. And within just a short time, the mushrooms have converted those toxins into nutritious, beautiful soil. So, so he said, what if there's a way we could do that in the body? Because even like the liposomal, Kate, you know how we put like liposomal glutathione or liposomal uh, curcumin, like with the tumero. Um, it's good because it's held in a, in a fat pod, but that fat pod is still synthetic and it still leaves behind some toxic residual that's not optimal, but it does carry that molecule into the cell. But he looked at it and he said, what if there's a way, a simpler way to get the nutrient delivered right to the mitochondria of the cell and then in exchange for that nutrient, the cell got rid of a toxin. And so that's the process he's discovered because what he found is there's two acids found in soil. There's fulvic acid and then there's human. And the fulvic acid, the beautiful thing that that does is it brings protons and neutrons and it brings a charge to the cell. So it's like recharging the cell. And then the human acid, what that does is it binds up with the toxins. So you have these two acids that work in harmony. One of the acids carries nutrients and carries beautiful a beautiful charge to the cell. And the other one is like the recycler that takes out the toxins. So you donate. So imagine, I mean, it's like perfect recycling. Imagine just donating, hey, I'll give you a vitamin C if you give me some toxin. Seems like a pretty good deal, right, kid? 
Yeah, that seems like a good trade off. <laughs> but yeah, and, and you've do dove into the cell core and, and, you know, we've been, uh, you know, at their, I've been uh, doing their seminars and their educational series. It's just fascinating because it's all, it works on these carbon chains. And so they're using only soil. So it's all grown in Idaho, which I'm biased because I'm from Idaho, Kate and I are. And so we love, yeah. we love things grown in Idaho. Um, but what they do is, is this, these acids can only be found in nature. And so the beautiful thing about it is the very first phase that we've got, this phase one is where we're going through drainage and building up the energy. And so it's a great way to carry the right essential oils into the body. And so, so for those of you who want to fully do a, a nice detox without the impact of the adverse reactions, um, the cell core products are just amazing. And so what we're going to, to do is, uh, Kate, if you've got a link that you could share or or is, if it's best, just communicate in the chat box and Kate can get you set up and, and get your order now. So, um, so that could be, uh, this is gonna be a really exciting phase. And, um, and I'll, I, can, I can share more if we have more time or if you have specific questions, but, but really you just wanna think of it as getting the right cellular support because uh, the the products that that we put you on this this first phase, it goes through and cleans out your lymphatic ducts. It cleans out your liver, all the the biliary toxins that build up, cleans out the kidneys, and then it also helps clean out the brain and the colon. So all the main areas that you want when we're going through a reset. So that's some of the things that we'll be introducing, and and uh, we're kicking this off next week. So I'd encourage you guys. Get the phase one system as quickly as possible because you're going to feel great. Um, this is going to turn on all the genetic expression, the systemic processes. And then for those of you who want to do the peptide process, we'll go through what those look like too because um, it's uh, this is the done for you. We have it done with you uh, as well. But um, you know, if you guys want to do that, that's that's great. So so some of the things we'll talk about uh, these today. Um, but some of the things, you know, uh, mindset, morning, kindness, breathing, you know, these are some of the, the new habits we'll be going through. Uh, you're going to want to make sure that you get the right peptides. So um, some of these core peptides, will will go through those, but that's going to be like your epitalin. Um, it's also going to be the selenx. So these are some of the peptides included here. Um, phase two, you know, in the reset, no sugar, move your body and sleep. And so we'll talk about that more today. So that's, that's where we're starting in the 60 day process. But, but Kate, I'm super, super pumped about that. It's going to be a, it's going to be a fun kickoff that we're doing in just one week from now. So hopefully you are ready. Yes. Now this is, this is awesome. Really excited. Um, great time to, to get the body just in a in the right state and so um if you if you want to get um set up with the the cell core we have a couple different phases but right now is phase one is would be the best way to to kind of kick off and get started with this um shoot me a um send something to me in the chat box um and what we'll do um we got we'll do uh, ten percent off for all the hack members, and I can get that all set up for you. We'll either email you a link, um, and then we'll we'll just have it shipped straight to your house. So no need to. Um, we're that that's how we're processing it in the clinic. Is um, we're we're just sending it straight out to your to your uh, residence, so you can get easy access to it. Yay. Okay, so your reset. So let's talk about what this looks like. So first of all, imagine that your nervous system, how many of you have a lot of stress in your nervous system? A lot of these interferences building up and, and you just found that no matter what you did, your body's just not healing. Oh, my camera went out of focus there. And it's frustrating because you, you wanna feel better, but you feel like something's in the way. You just don't quite feel your best. And so the very first thing we're going to do in this 60 day reset is there's three pathways we're going to be opening up. One is the stress pathway. So we're going to work on sleep. We're going to work on mindset. Second one is the guts. So we're going to get some cold exposure, some right, the exercise in, 
And then the third pathway is making sure that you've got insulin sensitivity so there's no insulin resistance. And so as we do this, as we start opening the HPA or the hypothalamus pituitary adrenal axis, this is where we can start calming the inflammation and calming the toxins in your body. And then as we work on the gut, then your body can start working on deficiencies. Same with the insulin resistance. As your body gets more insulin resistance, these deficiencies can be backfilled um, because you now can take in energy into the cell. And that's why the cell core um, part of your reset is so critical because it helps you backfill those, those missing nutrients and it gets rid of the toxins that help support you. And then when you're using the peptides, what the peptides are doing is causing this genetic expression that allows your body to perform in its optimal way. So, so if you think about this, as we go through the 60 day process, a lot of this is going to be built around essential versus non-essential. And so think about the essential, and this is from the book uh, Essential um, from Todd McCowan, McKeon, McCowan. And if you think about the essential things in life, how many times do we feel like we do too many things that are, that are non-productive? And so that's what he writes about. He's like, yeah, the non-essentialists, you know, we go here and we go there and we go here and we go everywhere, but we don't get anywhere. And so if you just focus on the essential things over this next 60 days, you're going to reset everything in your life. And what you'll start to feel is this just subtle momentum. And that momentum starts to build these results that go beyond just a linear result, because what we're looking for is a residual result when it comes to your health. The linear results are those things like you take a medication and uh, your blood pressure comes down. Um, you know, or you take a medication and your depression is lifted temporarily, but that's a linear result. It doesn't lead to long-term health or long-term healing, but what we're training you on in the 60 day challenge and these habits that we'll even, I'll, I'll open them up today. These are going to lead to residual outcomes, meaning in 10 years from now, you're going to be thanking yourself for the investment you made in your health, for the time, the energy, the financial investments that you've made that's all going to come back in residual outcomes because so many of us get trapped in our health where we're not making the progress we'd like to. So, so the, the way that this works is number one, you've got to get into the state. So we say, identify with who you are becoming. So, so just think for a moment here, let's do a little visualization. Who do you want to be in 60 days from now? What would you like to have accomplished in your health. So imagine you make it through winter and March 21st hits, and that's the spring equinox. That's when the days and the nights are perfectly aligned, which is one of the reasons we're kicking off this challenge on next Wednesday, the 19th of January, because it takes us almost right to that perfect stage where winter is waning and spring's coming up. But first thing you've got to do is where do you want your health to be in order for you to be happy with your progress? And think real small incremental changes, because remember, this is a residual result. How many of you would like to have more energy or have no pain? Or how many of you would love to have, you know, to be able to fit into those jeans that you haven't been able to fit into or feel better in your clothes? Or maybe some of you uh, would like to put on some weight, put on some mass and muscle um, or get more uh, endurance but that's the very first thing. That's how you get into state is you identify with who you're becoming. The second thing is you've got to take action because the 60 day reset is about you having a boundary and knowing where you want to go. And then the third thing is you get the results. So, you know, you say, look, I want more energy. And so I'm going to learn how my body works best so that it can actually get that result of better energy. And I'm going to reach out to Reagan, to Kate. I'm going to reach out to the entire medical team. And I'm going to find the answers that are needed so I get that result at the end. So this is the path to doing this effortlessly. So here's the problem. You know, a lot of us are based on our ideology is based around this whole medical model. And I know many of you are out of that. But if you think of the medical model and you look at a fish and if you had a fish in dirty water and, and Kate, have you ever bought salmon um, at a store and you're like, what happened to the red? I noticed like in 2000, the salmon lost a lot of color. Have you seen that? Yeah, it's like very pink. 
Yeah, it's about just, just like pale. Yeah. Yeah, it just yeah. looks kind of sickly, right? Yeah. And so I, I noticed that about um like maybe 20 years ago, where I'm like, things just aren't looking right. And so you've got two options. One is you could say, well, well, the fish doesn't have red, so let's just put dye on the salmon and make it red, which they did. And, but, but what they discovered is that these salmon were swimming at these farms that, that it was so polluted and they're, they have garbage food that they're feeding them and there's not a healthy outlet of the water. So they're swimming in their own fecal matter and fecal matter of the other fish. It was overpopulated and overcrowded. And so, you know, you could take one theory and say, well, let's just throw some medication in there or let's just dye the fish or paint the fish. The second thing in holistic medicine and what we're doing in the reset is, what if we change the environment that the fish is in? What if we just cleaned out the water and replenished the water and put some, some nutrients in it? Well, so what we're doing is this theory number two is we're actually gonna clean your fish tank out because a lot of you have cellular debris, we have toxins that build up, we have heavy metals, we have these interferences in our cells and it creates a, a poor energy state where our nervous system can get fried very quickly. And so this whole 60 day reset is designed to get you out of that state. Some of the linear results you can get is if you just focus on symptoms during this, you say, I just need another medication, another surgery. You think a one size fits all, or you go into the reactive mode and reductionistic. Well, it's gotta be that one thing that's making me feel like this way, but really uh, we wanna get over that. We wanna say, hey, in, in the linear results, you say, well, my grandmother had it, my dad had it, therefore I'm going to get it. The linear results also, it becomes extremely expensive because when you just start putting medication on the problem or you start dying the fish, it's financially, it doesn't work well in the long run because the more we suppress symptoms, eventually you're going to have to confront the problem. It's kind of like when you got a tough conversation you need to have with somebody, it usually doesn't just go away. You have to confront it and then things get a lot better. So, so what we're looking at in the residual side in this 60 day reset is we're going to be looking at cause prevention and performance. So we've identified the causes as deficiencies, interferences, toxins, and inflammation. And so if we can start removing those things, then that's really where you can perform at your best. We, we're going to focus on lifestyle changes, on cellular healing, on detoxification. And then it's going to be customized and personalized. So those of you who are working with us in a program, you'll be working with us one-on-one. -on -one. Some of you are just going to be meeting with us on Wednesdays for these group classes, and that's great too. But if you want it more customized and personalized, uh, that's where the cell core products come in and then get on the peptides. It's something you can do throughout this entire process. And then what we're looking at is instead of being reactive, we're being proactive and we're trying to put some energy reserves back into your cells so that at the end of 60 days, you have better energy than you've ever had. Your brain's working better. Things are just going to be firing better. And then we're going to emphasize instead of saying your genes predict your, not your pant genes, but your DNA genes, the genes are predicting your outcome in life. We're going to say, no, there's this thing called epigenetics where it's what's above your genes that really counts. And then we're going to show you how to how this pathway and the process we take you through. I mean, imagine getting rid of the interferences. It's so much more affordable. It's kind of like if you have a desk drawer. Uh, my daughter's desk, the drawers would just kind of fall open because it's kind of it, it wasn't built very well. And then she sat on it wrong. And I think my boys have probably jumped off of it a few thousand times, but uh, the drawers would just come open. So you probably noticed that in Zoe's room. And so every time I walk into her room, I'm like, oh, this is, you know, and I'd mess with the drawer and I just push it in just right and put a little wedge under the toes and then the drawers would stay in. But, but then if, if she used her desk, then the drawers would come right back open. And finally, I was like, I have spent so many hours just, tinkering with this and not fixing it, just taking care of the symptom with, which is the drawer coming open at me. I never treated the cause. I'm like, why don't I just fix it? And so what I did is I, I went in there and I unscrewed the, the hinges. I reframed it, put some, some of these pads on there so it would stick in and I fixed the drawer and it 
yes, it took me longer. I had to spend some money getting some material, but now all the time I've saved is incredible. I could have done that years ago. So, so think about with your health, how many silly things in our life just drain our energy and get in the way of us feeling and looking our best. So, so hopefully none of you have made that same mistake. Um, but um, okay, so the big things that are the biggest dangers that we're going to reverse in this 60 day process. 88 million people are pre-diabetic. Remember, insulin resistance is one of those things that we've got to eradicate. Heart disease, what causes heart disease? Well, this is chronic inflammation. And when you have insulin resistance, insulin resistance is just a state of inflammation in the blood, uh, in, the, in the blood vessels. So if you have hypertension, if you have issues with cholesterol, if your ferritin levels are high, we got to get rid of that. If your C-reactive protein um, is high, uh, your homocysteine, these are danger conditions that we want to start correcting. And so we help you stay out of the cardiologist office. Cancer, this is going to show up 15 to 20 years before the diagnosis. So once again, what causes that? Well, deficiencies and toxins. So we're showing you ways that you can remove the deficiencies. You can actually remove the toxins and replace it with the nutrients and minerals that your cells need. And then Alzheimer's, you know, what's, what causes Alzheimer's? Well, from the research we've done, there's a multitude of things, but it boils down to insulin resistance in the brain, toxicity in the brain, and then that toxicity causes deficiencies in the brain, which is stems more inflammation. So all the things that we're working on, but Alzheimer's, the worst time to start treating your brain is when symptoms show up. So it, we, it comes 30 to 50 years before the diagnosis. So these are important things. And then once you can correct these problems, then you can have more financial security because you don't have to worry about these unexpected, crazy medical expenses coming in the future because it's a big deal. So, um, so how many of you guys have ever had your roof leak? Because once again, it's going from a linear process um, versus a residual result. So a residual result is fixing your roof like this guy. He's maintaining the roof, making sure it's clean, there's no leaks. And it's really important. But if you wait too long, then you just end up putting a bucket under the leak. And that's what so many times what we do in our health is we don't address the root cause. And so we're just collecting the rainwater as it comes in, but pretty soon the mold hits and then the ceiling caves in, and then we have to tear the whole roof off. And that's what happens when we have medical catastrophes. Everybody's healthy the day before they get diagnosed with heart disease or the day they get the day before they get diagnosed with diabetes or the day before we get told we've got cancer. We all have this idea that we're pretty darn healthy. We know we could be healthier, but we don't really know what to do about it. So let's start taking this proactive approach and clean things up. So, so what we're going to talk about today is um, one of the first kickoffs we're going to have is fasting. And so uh, we're going to be going through the hunger scale. So you'll see this come up next week. We're going to kick off a 24 hour fast. And, um, but one of the things I want to do before we jump into the fast is, is I'm going to have a challenge and uh, we're going to have some specific things on, on fasting, but I want to just give you guys a challenge. Just go until you're full. Don't get stuffed. Don't get bloated and absolutely don't get nauseous. So, so part of the challenge is don't overeat because it's really hard to repair the damage that comes. So go until you're satisfied. And then once you get satisfied, you'll notice you feel pretty darn full. So don't go beyond full, but go to neutral or satisfied. And Kate, you've been doing the carnivore diet. And it's interesting. I found when I did, uh, when I was on the strict carnivore, I found that it was very easy to hit that neutral and satiated spot versus full. What, what's been your experience with that? Oh, way, way easier. Um, yeah, and the, the satia satiation is, is crazy, especially if you're eating like, you know, some, some good meats. I'm, yeah, I, I don't, it's, it's actually, I kind of have to force myself to eat sometimes because I just feel, you know, feel pretty good. Yeah, so so these are these are great things. Kate's also doing peptides with it, so it's just really like you're burning fat, like a just like hot butter melting off. 
That's great. That's the goal. Okay, some of the other things we're going to do is sleep. So I know some of you are night owls and um, you step way too late. And so um, we're going to just say, hey, during this 60 day reset, ideally get yourself in bed by 930 because the restorative sleep by if you slept from 11 to 7 in the morning versus 10 to 6, you're getting an hour more of deep restorative sleep that leads to more REM uh, cycles and more deep sleep cycles than you would if you the closer you to go to bed uh, towards midnight. So, so sleep, you need to eat, stop eating three hours before it's time for bed, and then try to get in bed uh, closer to 9.30, and then wake up around 5.30, 5, 5.30. So, so those are going to be some of the things we're going to talk about. Um, the other thing is we want you to look at your tongue. So let's do a quick diagnosis. So if you stick out your tongue, you can start seeing, okay, where's the discoloration? So different parts of your tongue relate to different organs. So you can see in the back of your tongue, it relates more to your kidneys. Um, the middle of your tongue, if you've got a deep crack, that's problematic. If you've got little horizontal cracks, you probably have some food sensitivity, some inflammation in your gut. If you look at the sides of your tongue, that's more liver. So this dot actually needs to be pulled a little more to the side, but it's a, it was a nice piece of art. It's not perfect. Uh, in its accuracy. Um, if you look on the upper third of your tongue, that's the lungs. And then if you look at the tip of your tongue, it relates to the heart. So, so let's, um, let's talk about this. So if it's light pink, um, it's pretty even, you know, maybe a tiny bit of a white coat. Uh, that's, a, that's a sign of a healthy tongue. But if you have a gray tongue, it could indicate gastritis, peptic ulcers. If you've got a yellow tongue, that can be, uh, well, toxicity, and it could be yeast overgrowth, but it could also be um, uh, like a zinc deficiency can cause that, especially if you have like a metallic taste in your mouth. Um, if you've got the violet tongue, that's blood deficiency, and that can be diseases of the lung and the heart. So yes, yeah, stick out your tongue and look at it. And if you find something kind of abnormal in your tongue, let us know, because we want to make sure that we can get things, uh, get the right customization for you. If your tongue's overall red, especially in the upper third, that could be from uh, inflammatory, chronic inflammatory diseases. Um, and then if it's bright red, um, Cade, your tongue's looking pretty good. Yeah, it's got, you got a little, little yeah, doing, you got a little crack on the tip, tiny bit of red on the surface, but overall pretty darn good. So little, little bit of stomach yin deficiency, but not bad overall. Um, so I take a little more enzymes or some apple cider vinegar when you eat, and you'll just digest things a little better. Um, bright red, uh, yeah, disorders of the heart. So, so, um, so yeah, look at your tongue. It's a Chinese medical uh, diagnostic process that's so powerful. Um, oh, Michelle wants me to go back. Hey, Michelle, to the sleep slide, slide again. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. There you go. Yes, yeah, sleep. And we're going to take a, by the way, on the 60 day reset, we're going deep into each one of these. So um, I'm just setting you guys up for what's to come. So uh, we're going to go into this uh, big time. So hopefully that helps, Michelle. All right. So look at your tongue. So here's going to be the six major challenges. Um, and I, I mean challenges like fun things. So here's the six core focuses. So one of the things we're going to do is we're going to kick off and we're going to do a 24 hour fast and we're going to have just one day a month where we do a 24 hour fast. Yes, you can do fluids, you can do non caloric um, uh, items. Um, some of you may want to do like the prolon uh, intermittent fasting with uh, Walter Longo. That's fine. But but what we want to do is just train our body and we're going to build up this part of our the bacteria in our gut. Um, we're going to subdue some of the firm acute and, and the beta glucuronidase, and we're going to really start activating some very healthy gut flora, like your acromancia. Um, so the fasting and sleep, and then we're going to be in bed by nine 30 and up at five 30. And some of you, you know, we're, we're, we're obviously we're not going to like put a surveillance camera on you, but, uh, but we, these are, these are ideals just for 60 days to reset your body. You want to hydrate, so half your body weight in ounces with electrolytes, or if you're exercising a lot, 
it can be up to a gallon of water with some electrolytes. Um, it's going to be super helpful. Make sure your electrolytes don't have sugar. If you need the right electrolytes, now is the time to reach out and we can get those for you. We have them in the office. We can also direct you through a full script. We can help you. Um, sugar. You're going to be reading labels like nobody's business. So take out your salad dressing, take out everything right now and this week and just go through it. If it has one gram in it, then what I do is I'll eat a half of a serving. If I'm like, okay, it's one gram of sugar and it's organic cane sugar, whatever, then maybe a half a gram, but don't go over one gram. So if it says one gram, you cannot eat the whole serving. That's the rule um, because sugar, remember, we're removing that insulin resistance. Exercise, we're going to do 30 minutes of kind of low intensity a day, like out on a, a sunset walk. And you can break it up in the morning, at night, and then uh, low intensity. And then we're going to have high intensity interval training. So we're doing body weight movements. Uh, you can do a spin class. You can do whatever you'd like. Weightlifting is great. And then, oh, part of what we're going to do on our 24-hour fast is we're going to do 20,000 steps. So um, that means we're going to do like... 10,000 steps in the morning and then go for another hike in the evening and the afternoon. Um, but the more you move your body when you fast, and we'll go through the whole training on that, but, but that leads to beta oxidation. So you actually start using fat as an energy source. If you're fasting and you're just staying still all day, it's, it's great, but you're not going to get the same benefits. So uh, the fifth focus is going to be heat and cold exposure. And then the sixth one is going to be your mindset morning. So we're going to be a minimum of three minutes, but ideally closer to six minutes on that. So, so that's the 60 day reset. Um, very transformative. I'm super excited about the process we're going to go through. Um, but what questions do you guys have? How many of you are excited to get started on this next week? Ready to, how many of you are ready to, to take it on? Yeah. Really excited. Nice. Okay. And, and Reagan, I was able to get a link pulled up. Um, if anyone wants to go in and grab the energy and drainage, um, you can actually click this link. I'll post it one more time. Um, and it, as long as you're already in our system, you just plug in your email and your phone number and it'll actually link up to your account. Um, but yeah, I, we got the, the first two phases of the cell core. So got the energy and drainage, and then step two is the gut and immune support. So that'll, that'll happen, I guess, um, kind of the, say they're each 30 days, right? 30 days, yep. Yes, and, and uh, some of you may, uh, you know, we, you'll say, well, um, what if I haven't ran my labs or I'm running my labs soon? Now that's fine if you want to wait until I look at your labs, but but these, the nice thing about the cell core process is you don't need to wait until you've had your labs ran or anything else. For those of you who are sensitive, I know a lot of you, you know, we have to be very careful that we don't detox too quickly. Um, I want you to still do this, but we're going to go half the dose and you can email me directly. You guys know how to get in touch with me or get on my schedule as well. Um, but this is, this is uh, from the research that I've done. There's this is a whole new innovation that, that cell core uh, biosciences, they're the, the only lab that's doing it this way, but I believe this will be how all supplement uh, companies will, will trend in the future because so many supplement companies, you end up with expensive urine. You're not getting what you need uh, into your cells because it's getting beat up by your gastric secretions. Whereas if the pH levels on all of these, uh, these products are so superior, that they can actually get where they need to go. So, um, so jump on it. You'll be happy that you did. Um, and if not, just let us know. We'll we'll help get a refund. We'll get things handled for you. But uh, but you guys will love the new uh, this new this new process. It's brand new innovation. I'm so excited about it. It fits perfectly with the peptides because it's mimicking that cellular expression. But what the cell core does is it's bringing in the nutrients you need. So when you go to turn on those cellular responses and that those those youthful genes, um, you're just going to get a better outcome. So uh, so go snag that. Really appreciate you all. Um, it, I'm super excited to kick this off next week. So so be here next week. We're going to full full on 60 day reset. Here we go. Love it. And Michelle said.
if getting up at 5.30 is going to be the rough one. Every, everything else looks good. I, I'm with you there, Michelle. 5.30 is, is a smidge early, especially with the little ones in the house. <laughs> Just tell your kids it's a 60-day reset. Olive can't wake you up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Allison's like, I'm up at 3, so no worries there. <laughs> okay, okay, Allison. Allison's going to be uh, just two steps ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, love you guys. Thank you for joining us. We'll be back same time, same place next week. Be ready to launch. We got the 60-day reset starting next week. So excited. Thanks so much, Reagan. We'll see you, you guys it. next week. Bye-bye.